Hello once again audience and welcome back to Dominations with Christopher. We have sleeping children. And I'm cutting into Marla time. So we're going to get this done hopefully real quick. I wanted to drop a video in regard to rallying. There are three, count them, three different types of rallies that you can use. There's a location rally, a building rally, and a speed rally. Uh, what's a location rally? Probably the most common commonly used type of rally where you get all of your troops to go to a specific location on the map. One note to make in regard to a location rally is to go toward your opponent or your enemy buildings in order to allow your troops not to split up and wander off. Uh, if you rally too far away, you're more likely to have your troops going in all different directions. Uh, the second type of rally, a building rally, meaning that you want to kill a specific building such as a mortar or a cannon tower. Uh, that's inclusive to any building that you want to get rid of. Uh, in war, obviously, when you're aiming for the five-star, uh, city center would be a, a typical one that people would use a building rally on in order to get that quick victory. Uh, the third type, which is less known and less used, even by myself, is a speed rally. So, what is a speed rally? It means that a building's already under attack and it's almost dead, and you're going to rally on that building literally just to speed all of your troops up. What this allows your troops to do is, one, they get that little bit of a speed boost, uh, and if they are split, meaning that they're going in two different directions already, it will allow them with that speed boost to go and kill multiples of buildings, or at least that's the hope. So I'm gonna walk through my last loot uh, that I did, and it's not for a huge sum, sum of uh, funds, but we did manage to actually, you know, get the victory. And I used a various number of rallies here in. So, I go in with a couple of artillery right off the bat in order to clear out some of these non-defensive buildings. I throw my tanks in there uh, in order to draw some of that mortar fire. And my tanks are huge. I love my tanks. So they're doing their job. And they're taking the fire. My supporting troops are in there. I did a double drop uh, to get them in there. Throwing some planes in there in order to actually help support so my heavies can keep moving. I say heavies. Heavies refers to your heavy units. Whatever's in there to take the fodder. Tanks. Companions. Now here's my first rally point. I did wait until this mortar had fallen. And I believe my first rally is right up there. And that was done with the intention of one, bringing them all together, and two, I wanted to throw a protect down on them. And there's the protect. You can see it works very well, allowing them to all get within the encompassing circle. My supporting troops did, however, decide they'd go through a different section of wall, but I was fortunate in that my artillery and my tanks all attacked right up here for me, allowing them to all kind of come together when necessary. So, here comes my next rally, which is going to, again, be a location rally in order to get my supporting troops in with my heavies, because you want your heavies to keep moving forward and be able to clean up kind of along the way. Again, that mortar has targeted the heavy tanks, which is what I want to see. My artillery go in there and do their jobs, popping it out. Now, we do let the general escape. Now this becomes a problem because obviously he's wandering off and he's attacking, I believe, well he was attacking my artillery, but then I use another location rally in order to get them all together and not only heal all of them at the same time, but attack the same target, being that general. Now I did lose my plane, makes me sad. And I'm going to drop my fusiliers down below here with the intention of allowing my tanks to go up toward these defensive buildings here. At this point I had an artillery that decided that he didn't want to live anymore. My tanks go to where they're supposed to and that's my speed rally. So you can see it allowed these ones, these troops up here to get a bit of that boost but that was already under attack and kind of halfway dead. I knew it was going to go down fairly quickly 
and I only use the rally with the intention of speeding all of my troops up. Uh, I'd have to say the speed rally is one of the harder ones to use, but it is also one of the rallies that will allow you to get through bases. Uh, if you're sitting on rallies for too long, uh, you're not going to get through a base, not naturally, unless the guy's a significant you know, amount of XP below you or age level below you. Um, so there you have it. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, I would appreciate them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, and keep your sticks on the ice. And have a good time.